Good evening. Today's quote is, to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most of people exist. That's all. To live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist. That's all. Today's word is euphoria, a state of intense happiness and self-confidence. She was flooded with euphoria as she went to the podium to receive award. Psychology, a feeling of happiness, confidence, or well-being, sometimes exaggerated in pathological states as mania. Now, miscellaneous exercise, first question, second part, answer the following, just listen to me, but please uh, do write the solution after the lecture. Answer the following first question, write down the following sets in set builder form, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, let A be the given set. So I can say set of all X such that X equal to 10 N, where N is a natural number, n less than or equal to 5. You may say n less than 6. That is also correct. Then second, b, a, e, i, o, u. So b is the set of all x such that x is a vowel of English alphabet. See, there are 26 English alphabets of which 5 are vowels, a, e, i, o, u. And the remaining 21 are called as consonants. In Marathi, vowel means swar, consonant means vengeance. Uh, actually, at least I know two English words, means words which are there in dictionary, in which all these vowels occur and in this order only. Means what? First A, in between there may be some consonants. In fact, there are some consonants. So A, then E, then I, then O, then U. If you know, you can type that word in chat box. Otherwise, tomorrow I will tell you. There are two English words. There may be more than two, but I know these two in which all the vowels occur in this order only. Okay. Uh, this has nothing to do with the solution of this. C. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So set of all M such that M is a day of a week. Uh, second uh, is for homework. Uh, it is simple one. You are given universal set, sets A, B, C, and you are asked to write down number of sets, right from A union B to A intersection B union C. Basically, what is U? All X such that X is a natural number, 1 less than or equal to X, less than or equal to 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, now third one. In a survey of 425 students in a school, it was found that 115 drink apple juice, 160 drink orange, and 80 drink both apple as well as orange. How many drink neither apple nor orange? So these are the three sets. I've drawn Venn diagram. 80 drink both, 115 drink apple. So remaining means 115 less 80, 35 drink only apple, 160 drink orange of which 80 drink apple. So remaining 80 drink only uh, orange juice. Now it is asked students not taking any of these two drinks. So from total number of students, subtract number of students who take at least one of these two. So 425 less 35 plus 80 plus 80. So 230 is the answer. Right now. Then fourth, in a school, there are 20 teachers who teach mathematics or physics. Okay. Of these 12 teach mathematics and four teach both, uh, I'm sorry, of these 12 teach mathematics and four teach both physics and mathematics. How many teachers teach physics? Now I will Right solution in short. M, of course, in exam, you have to first write that M set of teachers who teach mathematics, P set of teachers who teach physics. Okay. Four, this is for maths, this is for physics. Okay. 
four teach both the subjects. Now, 12 teach maths. Okay. Of, of these four teach physics also. So eight teach only math, but not physics. Now 20 teachers who teach physics and mathematics, rather physics or mathematics. So in that case, only maths, only physics, both physics and maths, all these cases are included. Okay. So what is the total? 20. So this is 8. So what is N of P? It is 4 plus 8. That is 12. I hope you are getting this. So 12 teachers, they teach physics. Or you may also say by addition formula. Of course, you have to first define sets M and P. What is uh, N of uh, M union P? It is N of M plus N of P minus N of M intersection P. You can use this method also. So 20 is 12 plus N P minus 4. I hope you are getting this. So it is N of P. 12. That's it. Right now. Now sum number 5 will be doing second part. If set A is minus 1, 1, find A cross A cross A. Clearly, there are 2 into 2 into 2, 8 elements. Let me explain how to write these elements. Let me explain. So, we begin, we have minus 4, uh, I'm sorry, 4 entries which will begin with minus 1. Okay. Now, remaining 2 will be 4 combinations of minus 1, 1. Let, let me explain that. See, in 4, it, it will be minus 1. Okay. Now, minus 1, minus 1. Then minus 1. And next combination is minus 1, 1. Then 1, minus 1. And last one is 1, 1. I hope you are getting. See, there are 8 possibilities. There are 8 possibilities. Four In 4 possibilities, the first element will be minus 1. And these are four combinations of minus 1, 1, minus, 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 plus, plus, minus, plus, plus. Okay. Now, I'm sorry. Now, the first one will be 1. Again, same four combinations. In fact, I should not use the word combination. It is an arrangement. So, uh, you, we usually call this as permutation and not combination. So 1, then minus 1, minus 1 is done. Minus 1, 1. Then 1, minus 1. And finally, 1, 1. Okay. So these are the 8 possibilities. A cross A cross A. Question 6. If... Set A is 1, 2, 3, B is 4, 5, 6. Check if the following are relations from A to B. Also write its domain and range. R1, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. But before that, I have written A cross B. Okay. So A cross B will contain how many? Nine elements. Now, relation is defined as subset of Cartesian product. So let us see what is R1. R1 is 1, 4. See, this is not difficult, but this is an important sum. 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. Tell me whether these are in A cross B or not. Yes, they are. 
So I will say as R1 is subset of A cross B, R1 is relation. Right? R1 is a relation from A to B. And we are asked to write domain and range. So what is domain? Domain is one only. And what is the range? Set of all second entries. So range is four, five, six. Right now. Okay, uh, we have discussed that R2 is a relation because R2 is subset of A cross B. This is domain, this is the range. Then third one, this is R3. Yes, R3 is subset of A cross B. So it is a relation. Domain, remember one element is to be written once only. So one, two, three. And what is range? Four, five, six. Now R4. What is R4? It is better if you actually write that relation. Four, two, two, six, five, one, two, four. Now four, two, even if uh, you write one, that is sufficient. 4, 2 doesn't belong to A cross B. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, actually, you have to write this, that 4, 2 is rather doesn't belong to A cross B. Okay, this is the reason. Uh, in fact, there is one more. 5, 1 does not belong to A cross B. And therefore, you have to say that R4 is not a subset of A cross B. So R4 is not the relation from A to B. Right. Uh, now, just listen to me. Determine the domain and range of the following relations. First one, R is relation from A to B rather set of ordered pairs AB, A belonging to set of natural number, A less than 5 and B equal to 4. Now this is simple, first one. So what will be the domain? A less than 5 and A is a natural number. So naturally 1, 2, 3, 4, that is the domain. And whatever may be the image, rather whatever may be the number, its image is going to be 4. So range, set of all values of B, only value of B, that is 4. Okay. Now, next one. Let me explain. R ordered pair AB such that B is mod of A minus A, where A is an integer and mod of A less than 3. Okay. Now tell me, mod of A is less than 3. So what can be the possible values of A? Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. You can check that. What is modulus of minus 2? I hope you remember the concept of modulus. Modulus is obtained to find the magnitude. It is non-negative value. So mod of minus 2 is 2 only. Is 2 less than 3? Yes. If you ask me, why not minus 3? The reason is modulus of minus 3 is 3. Is 3 less than 3? No. 3 is equal to 3. So these are the possible values of A. Now B is always mod of A minus 1. So select A is minus 2. So what is mod of minus 3? 3. Can you see this 3? Okay. Next value of A, minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. What is mod of minus 2? 2. Okay. Then mod of... 0 minus 1 minus 1. Mod of minus 1, 1. Then a equal to 0. Yes, I have taken that. a equal to 1. 1 minus 1, 0. Mod 0, 0. Then 2. 2 minus 1, 1. What is mod 1? 1. 
Now note that one element is to be considered once only because range is to be obtained. So 0, 1, 2, 3. Let me explain first. If any difficulty, I'll again explain. Find relation from A to A. Strictly A to A. That is domain is A. Codomain is also A. When A is 1, 2, 3, 4, such that first one, ordered pair A, B, A minus B equal to 10. Now tell me whether this is possible or not. A to A. Now A contains 1, 2, 3, 4. That is X is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 4. <laughs> right. So is it possible that difference is 10? Impossible. And therefore it is written that A minus B can't be 10 for any A and B belonging to A. So this is an empty relation. Now, second part. Second part, that mod of A minus B greater than or equal to zero. Obviously, see what is the use of modulus? Non-negative value. Non-negative means greater than or equal to zero. Yes. Every modulus value is non-negative and therefore we say that the relation is universal relation or if you want to verify you can 1 minus 1, 1, 1 minus 2 minus 1. What is mod of minus 1, 1? Is 1 greater than 0? Yes and so on. You have to use common sense that modulus should be, they say modulus should be non-negative. Yes, modulus is always non-negative. And that is why we say that this is universal relation. Ninth one, R from 1, 2, 3 to 1, 2, 3 is given by a set of ordered pairs 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3. Check if R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Okay. So let us, uh, actually we are supposed to write R and uh, so on. I'm directly starting with first part. Now, reflexive means what? A related to A. That is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 should be present. Check whether these are present or not. Yes, they are. So because of presence of 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, R is reflexive. I hope you are getting. Now somebody is asking if 2, 2 is not there or if one of these three is not there, then in that case, we cannot say it is reflexive. Okay. So in that case, we will say R is not reflexive. So R is reflexive here. Now, in part B, what is asked? Is it symmetric? Uh, can you tell me about that? Okay, 1 comma 2 belongs to R, but 2 comma 1 doesn't belong. I hope you are getting. See, what is symmetric property? ARB implies BRA. It is not implying here. Therefore, R is not symmetric. Okay. Now, can you tell me about transitivity? Let me check. One, two, two, three, one, three. Yes, I think it is not transitive. What is your opinion? Do you agree with me? Here, one related to two. Fine. Two is related to three. But 
one is not related to three because see this entry is not there so one three doesn't belong to r this is interesting therefore r is not transitive okay our uh, 10th is for homework because we have already solved one sum of this type check if relation from uh, z to z set of integers are ordered pair ab such that two divides a minus b is equivalence relation uh, yes it is uh, reflexive because two divides a minus a that is two divides zero uh if uh, two divides a minus b uh it is going to divide a b minus a also so it is symmetric and you will notice that it is transitive also so it is uh, equivalence relation now 11th one show that the relation r in the set a 1 2 3 4 5 given by r equal to ordered pair ab mod of a minus b is even is an equivalence relation now listen to me carefully first reflexive in fact when we are asked to prove that it is an equivalence relations means we are given that it is reflexive r is symmetric and r is transitive also okay what about uh, a r a is a related to a we can check that what is mod of a minus a That is mod of zero. Zero is zero even. Yes, it is. So it is reflexive. I hope you are getting this. Now, let a related to b. That is mod of a minus b is even. But note that mod of a minus b is mod of b minus a. So b minus a. I'm sorry. Mod of b minus a is even. So b is related to a. This means a related to b. implies b related to a for all a and b belonging to a so r is symmetric now a related to b and b related to c so a minus b modulus of a minus b is uh, even modulus of b minus c is even now if b is even then a and c both are even right so mod of a minus c is even but if b is odd then a and c both are odd so mod of a minus c is even and therefore a related to b b related to c implies a related to c for all a b c belonging to a so r is transitive as r is reflexive symmetric and transitive it is equivalence relation sum number 12 show that the following are equivalence relation first one simple one rather a part r in a is set of all books given by r equal to x comma y such that x and y have same number of pages now can i say that uh, x has the same number of pages as that of x obviously right so x R X that is R is reflexive. I hope you are getting this. That is number of pages in one book is the same as number of pages in that book. Okay. Now X R Y. Suppose X is related to Y. So number of pages in book X is the same as number of pages in book Y. So can I say that number of pages in book Y is the same as number of pages in book X? Obviously. right so x related to y implies y related to x uh, actually i should have written here therefore r is symmetric here i have to say r is symmetric i have to mention this okay now let me explain first let x related to y y related to z means what here i have to say x and y have same number of pages 
Y and Z have same number of pages. And therefore, X and Z will also have same number of pages. That is, X is related to Z. Therefore, X related to Y, Y related to Z implies X related to Z for all X, Y, Z belonging to A. So what is the conclusion? That R is transitive also. Now R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Therefore, R is an equivalence. relation. Actually, you should say that as relation R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, it is an equivalence relation. This is part A. B we will discuss and then we will write C or I'll do one thing. First, we will write solution for C part and then we will not depart. <laughs> we will discuss B part, then we will depart. Set A, X belongs to N, but not all because this is an infinite set then. And how relation R is defined? Ordered pair AB, written such that A equal to B, okay? And AB both belong to A. This is quite logical. A is always A. Therefore, R is reflexive. Okay, uh, I'll read the sum first. C part we are doing. R in A, X belongs to N, X less than or equal to 10 is given by R equal to ordered pair AB such that A equal to B. Is A same as A? Yes. So, a related to A, that is R is reflexive. Then comes symmetry. Okay. Let A related to B, that is A equal to B. Now, if A is B, can I say B equal to A? Yes, I can. So, B is related to A. Therefore, R is symmetric. Let A, R, B and B, R, C. That is what A equal to B, B equal to C. In fact, while explaining transitivity, we use this only that if A equal to B, B equal to C, then A equal to C. That is A related to C. So R is transitive. After that, you have to write that since R is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive, R is an equivalence relation. R is an equivalence relation. I hope you are getting this. See, but do not write directly. You have to say that since R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, it is an equivalence relation. Take your own time. Now just two, three minutes, 
we will discuss B part and then as I said, we will depart. Now uh, B part, R in A, all X belonging to Z, such that zero less than or equal to X, less than or equal to 12 is given by R equal to ordered pair AB, such that mod of A minus B is a multiple of four, okay? Now, is A related to A? For that, we'll have to find mod of A minus A. What is mod zero, zero? Is zero a multiple of four? Yes, it is. So R is reflexive. Suppose A is related to B, means mod of A minus B is a multiple of four, but mod of B minus A is same as mod of A minus B. So mod of B minus A is also a multiple of four. So it is symmetric. Suppose A is related to B and B is related to C, means what mod of A minus B and mod of B minus C are multiples of four. So A minus B must be four M. B minus C must be for it. Both M and N belong to Z. Now, can I say that A minus C is A minus B plus B minus C? Yes. If you open the bracket, B gets cancelled and we get the same. 4M plus 4M because this is 4M, this is 4M. Take 4 common to get M plus N. Now, M and N belong to Z. So, M plus N will belong to Z. Clearly, mod of A minus C is a multiple of 4. See, because of this factor 4, I can definitely say that it is multiple of 4. Means what? Yes, A is also related to C. And therefore, I can say that as R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, R is an equivalence relation. Is that clear? So, that's it. So we have completed the topic. Next topic is functions.